you know, I'm just not feeling this right now. Let's try something different. So we're gonna find a nice bench, plop on down and talk about these, which are toy targets. I'm gonna go ahead and stop myself right there because well, the footage I took didn't exactly come out the way I wanted it to. The uh, audio was just awful, absolutely awful. So we're gonna we're gonna come back to the wall that we were looking to get away from, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about these toy targets here. Now, thankfully, I did pick something up to help alleviate the issue that I ran into while filming outside. But uh, let me know what you think of the idea in general of trying to switch things up and do something a little different every now and then. But uh, let's let's get into talking about these. And uh, I like these. I actually, I, I like these. They're, they're simple. They're targets. You know, you, there's not much to ask for in targets, but they're, they seem to be durable, which is a big sticking point for targets. Um, shooting these with, with a decently powered, not, you know, I'm not hitting 250, but uh, high hundreds. Um, the Calibrin's out of order right now, so I haven't been able to shoot it with anything over 200, but, but definitely they held up better than I thought. So that's a big plus to me. As something 3D printed always kind of has that, is it gonna hold up? Is it durable? What's the infill? And these have a decent thickness, like they're not paper thin. So I was pleased at how these held up through testing. Uh, they're not perfect. I do have some, I guess, complaints or minor gripes, you could say. Uh, the biggest one is the base size. It's tiny, very small. Uh, this led to instability outside. If there was a breeze, they would fall over. If they're on an uneven surface, they're more prone to falling over. And overall, I just, I really want these bases to be redesigned. They're super tiny and that may be a cost saving measure, but if they instead went, went with like a, an X pattern that shot out diagonally. So let me put this on here, uh, shot out diagonally from like the corners, it would help it be more stable on different surfaces, potentially. Uh, and that's to me the biggest downside because if you're trying to shoot at a target and the wind knocks said target over, it kind of defeats the purpose. So I think if they adjust this, then they're set. They're fantastic because the pricing is actually pretty good on these. You can get a set of these four small zombies for $20. That includes the bases. That's five bucks a pop for 3D printed targets, that's not bad for 3D printed products, uh, to be quite honest. I'm sure everyone always wants cheaper. Cheaper is better, but I'd rather have something durable for $5 than something that will break for three. That's my personal opinion, but the zombie targets are fun. They're, they're neat. I, I dig the idea of something in a zombie shape. It's clever, it's, it's entertaining, but uh, I much prefer the circle targets because they're uniform. You have a target that you're going to shoot at. It's, it's, it's even, you're not going to, you know, shoot through and miss, you know, underneath an arm on the target. It, it's, it's one solid piece to hit. So that's something that, uh, is worth noting. Now, these actually were not uh, safe from wind either. You may think that because you've got all these holes inside of it, it, the wind may go through. I still encountered these blowing over in the wind, which was a bummer. Not as frequent, important, not as frequent, but still happened. So important to note, again, base size. If that gets adjusted, I think that problem is not going to be as much of an issue. In case I actually cut myself off from the other footage before I mentioned it, these are Toy Targets is the company name, the brand name. So you can find them at toytargets.com or Etsy, uh, Toy Targets. And uh, they have several different kinds that so you've seen, you know, the, the circle targets, the zombies in two different sizes, um, and some other kind of entertaining stuff that they've got. Now, something they've come out with since I was sent these, and I was sent these by the company to review. So just, just a heads up so you know, I did not pay for these. Uh, so if you want to take anything I say with a grain of salt, feel free to do so. I, I certainly don't mind that. But one of my biggest kind of bummers with targets in general, especially if you're shooting at a target 
further away is having to get up and reset it and then walk all the way back, take your aim, shoot, and it's it's kind of, you know, a bummer. Like, sure, these as they sit are great for sitting around the office and plinking around, you know, or the bedroom or something simple, something easy, not, you know, a long range away. But they have come out with something that actually makes the targets uh, stay up, auto reset. So it puts them on a hinge. So when you hit it, it bounces back. So it stays up so you can keep shooting at that target. Uh, what's more, what's interesting as well on top of that is they included a speaker system within it that you can actually program to play different sound effects when you hit the target, which is a neat and kind of fun little entertaining goofy thing. Now, I personally don't have the most use for that sound effect, but some people may like it. Some people may find it enjoyable. Kids may love it. If you put a, you know, a silly sound in there when they hit, it may add an extra level of value to them. Uh, I can't remember the exact price, but it does jump the price up a decent amount. Now, I wonder how much of that is the electronics of the speaker system with, uh, inside of it. I personally would love to see an option that maybe doesn't have that, that is of lesser cost, because I think it'd be cool to have these targets that can bounce back and you can just have a nice kind of range day testing out your blasters and seeing what's the most accurate or kind of trying to dial in something like a Caliburn or an overhauled long shot or an air blaster um, rather than having to get up and constantly reset a target. So I think these are a great idea. I think they have a great start. I think they're moving in a good direction, but I think there's definitely room for improvement. One thing I can say is the base targets they don't cost all that much for what you get. Uh, like I said, things 20 bucks for four of these with the bases, and then 13 bucks for four of the circle targets. Uh, two in this size, two in a slightly smaller size. So that's again, bases included. That's, that's not that bad. All things considered, uh, what you can see for 3D printed parts, especially if you commission something, it can be uh, very expensive. But I like these overall. I, I um, don't know that I would want to amass a massive collection, again, for that exact reason of having to get up and go put them back up at a long range because that's when I want to use these. I want to use these for long range shots. Uh, I will be using them in the future uh, in videos for testing blasters and whatnot. So these will be making appearances and I do like them. I just, uh, I definitely, I really think if they can release that uh, auto reset version without sound effects for an, a reasonable price, I think they're in a good spot. And I think that's something I would most likely buy to have maybe even a few of them. So that's something I definitely keep your eyes out for. But I want to know what you think about these and targets in general. What do you think about having targets for Nerf Blasters? Are most of yours not accurate enough at a, at a considerable range to warrant these or do you like the idea of having them just simple around the office kind of plinking around type things let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about these and again targets in general and if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future and as always thank you so much for watching i'm jangular and i'll see you next time